All right, I'm joined by the Hinge Bot, Zing Bot, Mitchie Hinge. We're here to talk about your Whopper moment. I'm very excited. You're, uh, you're a funny character, so I'm excited to see what you got. So let's get into it. Talk us through your Whopper moment. Tom, um, thanks for having me. Um, so I was a Crows fan um, as a oh, youngster um, all, through, all through my junior years. Um, my favourite player, um, surprisingly, Trent Henschel. Um, <laughs> he was um, he was a goal kicker um, for for in the forward line, and um, I think I loved his hair. I think that's what it was yeah. um, that that kind of drew me to him. Yep. Um, and I remember um, I think it was Andrew McLeod's 250th game, so already a big game. Um, I would have been very very young at the time, um, but I remember he kicked Trent Henschel kicked eight goals um, against Essendon. The hairs is just flowing. You know I loved it, um, and he's kicked eight so. That's my um, that's my whopper moment. So you're at the game or you? No, no, nah, nah, just um, just at home watching it, watching it with from the family. Home. Yep, yep. And are you were you sort of kid, full decked out, beanie or hat, scarf, everything, or were you just sort of a bit more low key, watch it with the family, and, and then you got excited because your boy was kicking goals. I was decked out, had the footy boots on, socks yeah, pulled right, up, really um, into it. Yeah. Yeah, Guernsey on. Nothing's um, changed then. Nothing's you roll into changed. the games when you're not playing, you kick, from what I've heard. <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, I mean, half time breaks, quarter time breaks. I'm out kicking the footy to myself. Um, yeah, yeah. It was it was a good day that day. I suppose now that the question that's going to be on everyone's lips now that you've said that, now that you're a, you're a Crows man and you've been here for a little bit, have you met your idol? Have you met Trent Henschel? I actually haven't. You I haven't. Ha I haven't met him. Um, I did know he did some work with Paul in his, yeah. um, in his time after his career, but um, you know, I'm happy to. Um, now I'm here and now I'm um, making my own memories. I'm happy to, for, for my career to kind of take over and, um, yeah, and right. make some memories of myself and, yep. um, and be part of it. So, um, yeah, if that doesn't unfold, it's all good. But, maybe um, someone, we can organise that with a few of the boys or <laughs> maybe like Texas Sloney or some of the older guys that might have played or anything maybe. Well, but. maybe. Um, I'm not sure how um, how we sit with um, Yeah, I feel like it would be a little bit weird. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably weirded out by it. But, yeah. But as long as uh, you get what you need out I of it, mean, which absolutely, is meeting your idol. Yeah, exactly. I love it, mate. You're probably best on so far. We've done a couple of them and you're uh, you're right up there. So thank you for joining us, Hingy. I, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed Hingy's Whopper moment and uh, all the best for the year, mate. Thank you, Tom.